Hi, welcome to 130 Women. I am Linda, I am one of the producers of the project and I'm here to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of the exhibition. So if you're local, please take this only as a sneak peek and make sure that you come in. We, our last day is the 6th of April, so please don't wait till the Easter holidays because we will be closed. <laughs> um, so come in before then, that gives you three weeks and a couple of weekends to come in and um, see what's happening. We've got some other events in here as well, so check out our event page. Uh, but as I was saying, it's a full experience. All of your senses um, are part of this experience. So we can't share that with you online, uh, but we are going to do our best to give you a sneak peek and to try and share a little bit of the experience with those people who are a little bit too far from Kalgoorlie. So that's why we're doing this. Uh, these are the four producers of the project. I'm just going to found. There we go. Okay. This is uh, where you come in to 130 women. It is a full experience. These are the four producers who have made this happen, along with the magic of over 80 creatives from the goldfields. This is our gallery map and our top 13 women. So I'm going to show you through number one today and I'm going to load up a different video over the rest of the exhibition to show you through each room. So this is how big this experience is. All of these little squares are a totally different experience, totally different feel, totally different story about all these women. So let's come in and have a look at number one. Number one is the incredible Alice Cummins. Alice Cummins is actually managing director of, um, let's look around here, of Kalgoorlie Brewing. So this was in the early 1900s that she was managing director of Kalgoorlie Brewing and she was the most successful brewer for decades in Western Australia. She made the change from, um, so, so there's a lot of information here about her story. We will be publishing this online and it will also be coming in our booklet. Um, we should get those delivered very shortly. So she made the change. This is a little, a little community outreach that we did for Boulderfest. The reason we came to Boulderfest was to tell people all about Alice. You can see here, thanks for the lager, Alice. So what Alice did, she changed the culture from drinking English style stouts to German lagers, which just kind of makes sense when it's 40 degrees out there in Kalgoorlie, right? So what a legend. She was also um, an absolute theatre buff. She loved the theatre. She loved the performing arts. So we've managed to get here for her installation. These are actually original theatre seats from the Cremorne Gallery on the top of Hannon Street. So Alice most likely sat in one of these seats or one very close by. Uh, there is a video here of Alice, so you can enjoy a little theatre experience and learn a little bit about Alice's uh, life and what she achieved. Incredible woman of her time. And then, so for each woman, you can see here, we've got a little collection of artworks by the artistic producers and also by commissioned artists. So I'm going to give you a little a little look at those. All of these are for sale via silent auction. This is a Bicky art piece. It's a print. She uses ballpoint pen. So the original's done with ballpoint pen. This one's just a little print of her artwork today of a cello. There's a Kelly Acaro here. She's painted with gouache, the Cummins Theatre. Cummins Theatre is actually named after her family and when you go to the Cummins Theatre in Meriden, all of the workers need to say, hi Alice, in the morning. Um, Alice uh, actually lived in Meriden and worked right across the goldfields. As she worked across the goldfields and obviously probably trips into Perth as well and across to all of her establishments that she owned, her various breweries and, and pubs that she owned, you would catch her riding in her um, Lincoln limousine. So this is actually, this is incredible. This is Laura Hasmick, or you might know her, her as Laura Kate from her socials. Um, she's done this in watercolour. It is incredible. This one is for sale by silent auction. And you see that the number plate, Molly. Uh, Alice was never married, but she had a life companion 
who um, worked for her and travelled with her everywhere. Her name was Molly, so we dedicated the limousine to Molly. This one here, we have another Kay Akaro. It's a um, textiles piece, this one. We went, went with a bit of a pop art feel for Alice. Every woman has a different artistic feel to them. So we did a bit of pop art for Alice because we thought it really suited her, um, you know, the branding of the uh, brewery and that kind of thing. So here she is turning the soil for um, her new brewery to be built. Then there's a series here. All of these are, are available for sale individually. Series by Linda Ray, or yours truly. These are block prints of the very iconic uh, water tower in Meriden. You can still see the advertising there for um, the Kalgoorlie Bitter beer that Alice brewed. So they're all the pieces that are available um, as part of Alice's installation. There's also this one over here with a bit of neon, some recycled cans, making some uh, beer hops there, um, and the, the theatre chairs are also part of it as well. So when you come in to visit, there are these silent auction sheets everywhere give you a little sneak preview here at how they're going. So you can see there, someone's in for the cello. The building a brewery textiles piece is up to 220. Pour me a pint's available to the first person to put a bid on it. And the others you can see there, the, the theatre chairs, these incredible theatre chairs. If you want them and you can put a bid place of the, higher than 350, they might be yours. So all you need to do is come in Put your details and um, bump the bid up a bit and you might uh, get to take one home. So all of the silent auctions close at 2pm uh, on Sunday the 2nd of April. So mark that in your calendar to come back in and check. Just going to say goodbye. Okay, there I am. So if you're not in Kalgoorlie but you know somebody in Kalgoorlie, first option, please send them in to have a look. If you're interested in a piece of artwork, send them in to scribble your name on the sheet. Um, worst case, if you really don't know anybody in Kalgoorlie that can get in here, you can uh, message the team. But please be aware um, of our limited capacity. We've got a lot of things to organise um, and we're working predominantly volunteer for the rest of this um, exhibition. So you can do that and we can try and get your name on the sheet, but the best way to guarantee is to get yourself um, a spotter from Kalgoorlie to come in, put the bid on and keep an eye on what price it is for you because we might not be able to... Um, check out messages as timely as we would like to and we're going to have a lot going on when the option closes so please delegate somebody to, to look after that for you. Um, the skimpy is also, also available too in her um, Hannon's, Hannon's lager shirt. Say Hannon's. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to be sharing more of these with you. They're not going to all come out at once because we want you to come visit. Um, that's the short of it. <laughs> You'll find these videos on our socials and also on YouTube so that you can see each woman's installation and get a bit of a feel. And this video up here behind me, this will be loading to our YouTube and website as well so that it can all be kept for posterity. We've done a lot of work. We want to share it with you. If you like these artists um, and the bid's already a little bit high, we have... Um, We've commissioned these artworks to do the, these artists to do these artworks. However, they do retain all of the reproduction rights to their images. So if you really like what you see, um, but the bidding's gone beyond your capabilities, then you can get in touch with the artist directly. We'll tag them in the posts. Get in touch with the artist directly and see if maybe you can order yourself a reproduction within your price range. So all of these sales of these artworks go to a different charity for each woman. As we said with Alice, she was an absolute theatre buff, loved the performing arts, so we are donating all proceeds from the sale of the artworks, the um, furniture, bits and pieces to the rep club so that we can support them. They supported this project. Behind us here you can see a rep club actress in some rep club costuming so we're giving a little bit back so please place your bids if you love the artwork come in enjoy alice's story and we will see you in the gallery soon 10 till 2 from wednesday till sunday thank you